Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here. I'm going to be doing a quick how-to today uh, showing how you can extract thumbnails for uh, your YouTube videos from Caden Live. So, you know, if you're doing thumbnails now, firstly, I'm by no means a thumbnail master. Most of my thumbnails up to now have been at best mediocre. I think I'm slowly getting better. Um, that's really because my photographic editing kind of sucks. It's not something I've ever really gotten into. Um, but this is just the first stage of the process and that's the reason I'm showing this. In other words, if you can take the output from a still frame and you're good at photo editing and good at designing thumbnails, you can end up with really, really nice uh, thumbnails. So an example of um, you know one that might be useful would be, let's take this uh, footage here of I posted a video up on YouTube recently um, in which I was in uh, Turin in Italy and my wife and I rented scooters. And this is kind of a classic thing where we didn't have time to take still photos, which is what usually people would do for thumbnails. So and a kind of workaround you can do is to take a frame out of the video and then work on that. Now, first thing to say is that I edit using proxy clips in Caden Live 2 uh, because my system isn't like super high spec. So that's going to make it uh, very hard to see exactly what you're getting. So what you want to do is turn off uh, the proxy clip, disable the, so if you want to get a thumbnail from this clip, you can see there's lots of potential thumbnail, thumbnail material here is, uh, so what I'm going to do now is def take off uh, the proxy for that clip. So now we're looking at a full res and you can see it's a bit more uh, jagged because of the fact that it's heavier on the system. And basically, once you're using proxy clips or once you're using Caden Live, one thing you can do is put this over to full screen by double clicking on it. Now you're not gonna be able to see it because it's in my other window. Um, but what you can do, the advantage here is you can go frame. I'm just using the arrow keys on my keyboard. Frame, 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 frame. So if there's a frame that has like motion blur, um, then uh, you know you can just go to the next frame, frame and maybe there's no motion blur. So what I tend to do is my typical workflow is I'll just kind of skim through the video like this and I'll look for a few potential thumbnail options. Maybe, maybe like here going through the trees is kind of interesting. And you can see like this is a blurry frame, right? Blurry frame, but here's a frame that doesn't look too blurry to me. So then what, what you want to do is right click on the uh, photo preview and click on extract frame. Now I have a folder on my desktop called thumbnails and what I'll sometimes do is extract a few different frames so that I have a few different candidates. So let's call this Torino uh, scooter thumbnail options. It's a bit longer than I expected. And you know what I mean? You can just call this one and we can like scrub through it a bit more. That was kind of interesting with the bus there. So we've got the trees, we've got the trees, maybe one going across a uh, pedestrian crossing because we've got the bike in the other direction. Now again, if you're a photo editing whiz, you can see these uh, frames are kind of dark, but you can really touch them up and get really nice thumbnails. Uh, these ones of me talking are not, <laughs> not ideal. Um, maybe there's one more, and I think there was a couple more in the other clip. So that's the first stage is go through your, uh, let's take one from the bus the bus by the side just to show the contrast between I guess uh, conventional public transport and this form of public transport so you know choose four or five different uh, frames that you think could be have thumbnail potential then I'm going to go into GIMP photo editor and you can just go into your uh, where are we uh, thumbnails uh, Torino and you can just open them and work on them and the good thing about these is that they're going to be in 1920 by 1080 so they're already in the right aspect ratio they're already in um the right resolution well they're actually a little bit too big for uh so you might have to downscale these firstly to uh 20 1280 and that's going to get you by 720 if you keep the aspect ratio locked and then you can do your thing and this is where i'm saying I, I'm, I'm falling down because i'm not really an image editor or good at it uh, but i think this is a good workflow that if you are good at this process you can scan through your videos, pick out a few uh, really exceptional frames in it, and then work on them in an image editor to get yourself some uh, really good thumbnails for your YouTube videos. Hope this video was useful. Thanks for watching. If you wanna get more, please subscribe to this YouTube channel.